Charles County is home to abundant and rare natural resources, offering citizens and visitors opportunities to engage in great outdoor experiences. The various habitats in the county support several of Maryland's rare and unique species and provide numerous recreational opportunities. Places like Matawoman Creek attract anglers near and far, as well as young and old, who come to test their skills in local and national bass tournaments. In the spring, anglers flock to area streams to wet their lines with hopes of catching migratory fish like herring, yellow perch, and white perch. Anglers may also encounter fish like the flyer and warmouth. Within Maryland, these two rare fish can only be found in Charles and neighboring St. Mary's County. In addition to supporting a nationally renowned bass fishery, Matawoman Creek is ranked 8th among the 137 watersheds in Maryland for stream species diversity, supporting four native mussels and six state-listed rare, threatened, or endangered species. Bird watchers flock to the county to view rare species like the least bittern that live among the marshes and the black white warbler, a bird that dwells in the heart of forests and needs large blocks of forest to successfully nest. In addition, birders have the opportunity to observe the majestic bald eagle and the elusive barn owl, species identified in need of conservation. Nature enthusiasts may be fortunate to see exceedingly rare species like the rainbow snake, once thought to be lost from Maryland entirely, but observed in Charles County in 2007. This animal is aptly named for the beautiful color pattern of red, blue, and yellow it exhibits. Other amazing and attractive reptiles such as the spotted turtle and the diamondback terrapin are unusually abundant in Charles County swamps and rivers. Moreover, who can resist the serenade of the upland chorus frog, which in Maryland is most abundant and easily found in Charles County? Beyond recreational opportunities, several watersheds in Charles County rank among the best quality habitats in Maryland. Zakaya Swamp Watershed is part of the Wacomico River that has been designated as one of the nine state scenic rivers and is considered one of the largest freshwater bogs in Maryland. Zakaya Swamp has unique natural features that support specialized habitats for rare and unique plants like the threatened, insect-eating pitcher plant, the bog fern, and many others. In addition to plants, Zakaya is home to rare animal species like the blue and green damselfly, the iron color shiner, and the swamp darter. Nanjamoy Creek Watershed is considered a high priority watershed in Maryland and is well known among fossil hunters for its shark teeth, coiled shells from the sea snails, and other fossils. These fossils are from an ocean that once covered Charles County 40 to 60 million years ago. Its rural landscape with large tracts of forest support the largest blue heron rookery on the east coast, north of Florida. Forests of the watershed house trees like the overcup oak and basket oak that are unique to the coastal area of Maryland. Nanjamoy is also home to the dwarf wedge mussel. This freshwater mussel is so rare that it is considered endangered of extinction by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. A small salmon-colored salamander known as the mud salamander is both rare and very difficult to find. However, it was observed in Anjumoy Creek in 2006. As its name implies, this species is found in muddy areas along undisturbed forested streams, like those found throughout Anjumoy Creek. These unique and amazing plants, animals, forests, streams, swamps, and bogs of Charles County make the county unique among Maryland counties. No other place is like Charles County. The residents can take great pride in their fortune to live among such natural wonders. Most Maryland counties were likely this wild and wonderful at one time, but have lost what was once so special. Protecting the natural wonders of Charles County will allow the residents of the county the chance to enjoy what they still have, and will allow other Marylanders the chance to visit a place that retains much of the natural heritage we all cherish and enjoy.